seven days to go from nothing, no designs, to a whole clothing line. Part of me feels like I'm copying people. Does he not look haunting? Like it's fine, make me cry. I want the brand to inspire people to embrace the chaos of life. I gave up. I'm going to look through my inspiration board. Chaos of life, me trying to survive, me become moody. Look at that, Moody Studios, launch one. Hi, as many of you know, I'm starting a clothing brand called Moody Studios because I'm a moody girl and I was supposed to launch on June 6, 2023. It's currently August. I procrastinated for months, like more than half a year, approaching a year even, because I just felt so stuck. I can't figure out the aesthetic I want for the brand. And if I can't figure out the aesthetic, how would I know what designs to slap on? So now it's really delayed and I'm really stressed out. So to get myself unstuck, I wanted to challenge myself to design the whole line in just seven days. That's right, seven days to go from nothing, no designs, to a whole clothing line and i wanted to film the whole process every single day but you see <laughs> she got covid again and instead of resting for some damn reason i had this huge creative spark and i just designed and designed and designed and i didn't film it so now i actually have a whole completed clothing line i just didn't film it that's why i'm filming this now this is just a reenactment of what those seven days would look like if i filmed it anyways day one okay so before i can start designing i have to figure out what the hell is my problem why am i so stuck why can't i figure out what aesthetic i want for the brand like why is it so difficult to make a decision. I felt like that was my main concern. So step one was figuring out what the hell is my problem. Oh. Welcome to my studio. Okay, I feel like I'm drawn to colorful pieces, like colorful designs, but I'm also drawn to minimalist styles. So do I make the brand maximalist? Do I make it cute? Do I make it colorful? Do I make it basic? Do I make it minimal? I hate working with colors. I truly hate coloring. I hate painting. I hate crayons. I just hate working with colors. I can't decide. My main issue, the main thing I want to make sure happens is the brand is cohesive. What I know is I really want chaos. I think I'm a chaotic neutral person and I want that to reflect in the brand. So I want chaos, but when you think of chaos, you think of messy. Is that the style I want to go for? I don't know. <sighs> I can't decide. This is why I've been stuck for months. This, this. You know what? I'm gonna try to go for chaos. And then it's day two. So in day one, I identified my problem. I figured out what design style I want, what aesthetic I want. So now it's time to just compile some inspiration. Okay, you know what? After thinking about it, the whole chaos as a brand thingy, I think it works well with the name Moody Studios. You see, at first I named the brand Moody Studios because I'm a moody person, always have been, probably always will be. And then upon a lot of reflecting, I realized that I'm a moody person because life is full of chaos and I'm just trying to survive. I struggle with OCD, depression, anxiety, so much more. I hear voices and those voices are so freaking mean. I think I'm a moody person because from a very young age, I've been fighting my own demons. I want the brand to inspire people to embrace the chaos of life and try to find comfort while going out of the comfort zone. For me, being comfortable while navigating the chaos is being moody. I think there's a direct correlation. Chaos of life, me trying to survive, me become moody. I'm not trying to suggest that you guys should be moody in order to survive. I'm just saying that if my brand can have reminders telling you that it's okay, you can calm down, blah, 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 just affirmations, I think it'll work out well, but make it chaotic. Cause like chaos, why not? I don't know. Do I make sense? Now that I've got somewhat of an idea of what I'm going for. Chaos. I'm gonna create a mood board with all of the elements that I like. Point is, I think this will help me stay focused on staying on the aesthetic. So I looked through Pinterest and I looked through Etsy and compiled the designs that I like. So this is what the final mood board looks like. When it comes to designs, we have this. And when it comes to stickers, we have this. I think the stickers really represent chaos, especially the cats. But as you can see, there's a part of me that wants the chaos, but a part of me that wants the cute. Looking at this mood board, I realized that I am not a basic minimalist person, because what the hell is this? Where's the basicness? Where? Where? For some reason, raccoons really freaking 
inspire me. Things like this, they resonate with me. From this mood board, we can clearly see that I like color. There are also certain themes going on in this mood board that I realize, such as this one, it says embrace your transformation. This one that says trust the universe. This one that says your energy is your currency. Your potential is endless. Ditch toxic people. Clearly something about affirmations, manifestation, the universe. It's speaking to me and I think I want to incorporate that into the brand. So with the final mood board thingy, I came to the conclusion, for some reason, I like colors. <laughs> Ugh, I like spiritual stuff or reminders to just calm the heck down, like trusting the universe. For some reason, I really like raccoons. So I think that can be the brand. Chaotic reminders to calm down. The main focus for day three is printing out that mood board and identifying any elements or designs that can be linked together to create a new design. Let her explain. Oh, thank you, Angelic. Now that I have my mood board printed out, the next step is to look at designs that can go well together. Let me give you an example. Here, this is the original. It says, hold on, I'm overstimulated. I took those words and I slapped it onto this sad raccoon and it becomes, hold on, I'm overstimulated, but with this raccoon or this duck or goose, duck? This bird, instead of peace was never an option, I can say don't forget to drink your water. So it's basically this animal holding a knife threatening you to drink your water. I'm going to look through my inspiration board and try to combine as many things as possible to spark my creativity so that I can figure out what I want for my pieces. Part of me feels like I'm copying people. Hopefully that inspires me without downright copying them because like I don't want to be a copycat. Ah, day four, the worst day, I think. Day four is the day I do my rough sketches for the design. You see, I'm not the best artist. Well, I can draw on pencil and paper. To me, that's easy. I think I have skill. I'm not the best, but I think I have skills there. But when it comes to electronic art on my iPad, bruh. Salsa cookies. Give me cookies. I give you diarrhea. So these sketches are going to be really rough. I had this idea of starting a clothing brand about a year ago and my main inspiration was this cat right here, Elf. He's a chaotic king and I think he would look so cute on a t-shirt. I thought he's gonna be the logo of my brand, but you see this boy is so difficult to draw. It actually pisses me off. I wanted at least one piece, one design in the collection that has his face on it, but I can't for the life of me draw him. I want you to watch this. I suck at electronic art. I'm gonna try to draw him right now. Just freaking watch. <laughs> Does he not look haunting? That does not look like my cat. You know what, instead of rough sketches, I don't wanna draw. <laughs> I don't wanna draw. I think if I used my own art in the clothes, I'm never gonna launch. Like I hate my own art so much that I don't want it to launch. You see this cute little thingy? It's a dog with a leaf on its head, a mushroom house. It's so cute. And I slapped it onto the shirt and I'm like, you know what, this could make it to final launch. I actually drew this, I'm actually proud of it. My boyfriend loved it, yes. He supports me using my own art, but when he saw this one, he said that it looks like there's a bone sticking out of the dog's head. That made me self-conscious. To make it worse, I sent this design to the professional to have him send me back a print, like a sample, and guess what? I did a poll on Instagram after sending the design off to a professional and I'm like, do you prefer the white one or the pink one? Everyone chose pink, but I sent the white one off to the manufacturer. So clearly I can't trust myself when it comes to designing because I'm choosing the wrong options. Okay, I'm freaking out. Day five, the day that gave me the biggest headache. It's time to turn my rough sketch into reality. So the main tools I'm gonna use are Procreate and Canva. Okay, so after a really bad attempt at doing the rough sketching, I gave up. <laughs> I could feel myself starting to get stuck again because if I use my own art, I will never launch. The next best step was to use SVGs. While scrolling through Etsy, I found SVGs. I don't know what they stand for, but basically, I did a shit job explaining it in the video, but basically, Etsy sells a lot of SVG, which is other people's arts or designs that you're allowed to use into your own art or designs and you can sell them. Or you pay one price to buy the art and another price for commercial rights so that you have the rights to use it into your own art. It feels like you're stealing someone else's art because it's not your own art in your own clothing brand, but it's legal and other people upload their art so that you'd buy them and use them on your own. Part of me feels like I'm stealing art, but the other part of me knows 
I bought the art, I have commercial rights to them. It's like hiring a designer to design the clothes for you. It's not your art, it's theirs, and they got paid for it. So take this raccoon for example. I really like this raccoon. I see the potential in the design process with this one. Technically, you don't draw the art yourself. You buy the art and you just put it into your own designs, if that makes sense. Which does make me feel like I am stealing art. It doesn't feel like my own, so I have to try to make it my own. So let's take this raccoon that I really like. I want to create a print with this. I like this raccoon with the words trust the universe. So all I have to do is find a font that I like and add trust the universe on top. It's looking too plain right now, so I think I'll add sparkles. It's actually kind of looking cute. I like how it's black and pink. As you can see, I've incorporated two of the different inspiration elements that I had on my mood board to create a design. But let's not stop there because this is too freaking plain. Okay, I really like this because the raccoon is screaming at me to trust the universe and right down here it says you're exactly where you're meant to be right now so it's a cute reminder that's being screamed at you by a raccoon. I don't know. Now it's time for me to do that with all the other designs. Did I say day five had the biggest headache? I, I think I mean day six. I've created my digital designs. Now it's time to slap it on a clothing and see if it looks good before I actually print it out on actual clothing. Once I have all of the designs on all of the mock-ups and I take a look at everything. My main concern is what if it's not cohesive? Oh, we're on day six, which is mock-up day. I've got my designs. You've seen this one, but I designed a few more, a lot more, but I need to know if it will look good on clothes, especially the different colors that I have. So that raccoon design that I made, I want it on the back. I'm just gonna copy it over. And this part is really difficult. Like it took me a long time to figure out what size the print has to be like what if it's too big what if it's too small but that looks good oh my god it's voila here we have a mock-up wow again i'm not sure if anyone would even buy that because is it even anyone's type now i have to do that for every single design i made so that i can figure out if i will launch them and that brings us to day seven after months of being stuck it's finally time for me to finalize the line today's the last day <laughs> I've been meaning to move these clothes to the other room, my official stock room, so the cats will stop touching them. But it's the last day. I've got all of my designs printed out. And it's time to go through them and decide who makes the cut. Editing Angelic, if you are not lazy, make it really dramatic. The final designs are in this envelope. It's not an envelope, I just wanted to be dramatic. It's... I look so good. No, I don't. Look at that! Moody Studios, launch one! Okay, this is the overview of a lot of the designs that I've ever made. Now it's time to choose which one is downright rejected, which one I'm on the fence about, and which one I will 100% launch. I like this one, but the issue is it's red. A lot of my other designs have lots of pink in it. This will be the only one with red, I think. So I don't think adding a red would be cohesive. My boyfriend's words are really getting to me. That really does look like a bone sticking out of the dog's head, so I don't think this will make it to launch. This was one of the original ideas. I had a border around it, and there's only one flat color, but the issue is I don't think the raccoon looks good in all white. So this one's rejected. Everything here, rejected. Everything here, rejected. I considered this one. It says your potential is endless, but it's not really speaking to me, so it's rejected. It's time. Moody Studios launch one. Okay, I'm not gonna show you guys every single design because I still want some of it to be a secret, but I'll show you the main pieces that I'm the most excited for or the ones that I really need feedback on. So please comment down below. Boom. So the front of the shirt says, trust the universe. You're exactly where you're meant to be right now. And the back is the raccoon screaming at you. Wow. <laughs> I didn't show you guys the process of making this shirt but I was inspired by receipts. I like how receipts look and I wanted a nice little receipt at the back there. No matter how much I tweaked it, the receipt always looks stupid. So I decided to change it. You're so close to me, oh my God, back up. So instead of receipts, I decided to go for nutrition. You know, like those thingies that. So the main message I wanted to send with the nutrition one is it's not selfish to prioritize you, to be there for you. You should prioritize you. And by prioritizing you and focusing on yourself, you can become a high vibe individual. I'm also doing the same design but in different colors for the pink hoodie. I was on the fence on whether or not to launch this one, but I think black pink looks good. For some reason, this next design, the black one, 
is my mom's favorite. So the main message in this one is ditch the toxic people. I am a strong believer of protecting your energy and kicking the things that don't serve you out of your life. So the front of the shirt, it says ditch toxic people. It's gonna be embroidered. There's a raccoon sticking out of it. And in the back, it says your energy is your currency. Okay, I'm so bad at promoting my brand, but there are a lot more designs going to launch. And if you're interested, make sure to follow the brand's Instagram page so that you can stay up to date with all the designs that are going to make it to launch. He fits. So he sits. After months of procrastination, I can't believe that I have my final clothing line done. Having this huge part or the main part of starting a clothing brand done, completed, it alleviates a lot of stress. Like, I don't think I'll be crying anytime soon over this. It's making me feel motivated because I don't like getting out of bed. I just can't believe that the struggle of designing is finally over. Unless, of course, <laughs> this video comes out and you see some of the designs and you're like, that's not good. That's gonna make me rethink everything and then I'm gonna have to start designing again and then the headache's gonna start and then the, the stress is gonna come back and I'm gonna cry. Anyways, comment down below if there was a design that you liked that I rejected or if you don't like the final pieces that I chose, like, it's fine, make me cry. Please don't. <laughs> if you've been feeling stuck in life, I hope this video inspired you to get out of that rut one step at a time. I fuck with you,